Warburton's. Now, we consciously, I don't know about you, Tom, but we consciously never touch anything from Warburton's. And the reason we don't touch them is because certainly since before the 2010 election, they have been helping to fund the Conservative Party. And as many have pointed out, they continue to fund the Conservative Party and therefore they continue to fund the austerity project, the politically imposed austerity project that the Tories imposed upon the great British public. And I'm guessing will continue to do so um, even more glee post-COVID as they lie to us about having to manage the economy like the household, which is utter drivel. Um, but it's not about that. It's about the war burns. So if they could propose to prepare to support a party that's imposing such draconian um, measures upon the British public, then I certainly as a consumer uh, are not prepared to give them a penny. But that's not the issue. It may be for those people who weren't aware of it and now are aware of it and aren't going to buy war burns. But the issue is also that they were very, very pro-Brexit. And yet, last week, guess what? They blamed the shelves not being full. They blamed the lorry drivers not being able to deliver on... Do you want to guess what? Brexit. Oh, <laughs> well done, Tom. Absolutely, on Brexit. So, as we can see here, I mean, I'm going to skip through the... Here we go. Look, so we've got uh, Mrs. Walburn in 2016. Brexit is a very good thing to have happened. We are all well out of the rotting corpse of Europe. Go forward, Tom, to 2021. Sorry for the shortage of bread. We don't have enough drivers to deliver, to deliver bread nationwide. Many have gone back to the EU. <laughs> really? And then underneath somebody puts, I'm still blocked by Warburton's for highlighting their funding of Tory austerity while putting smiley happy Muppets on their adverts. <laughs> um, I mean, we're not going to spend an awful lot of time on this, Tom. We don't, we don't need no. to be. I mean, just making it clear to the, uh, to the British public and to obviously to our, to our viewers that yeah. this is a corporation that has, if they were playing you know, at, the, at the tables and they're choosing between red and black, they put their money on red two times and both times it came out black. Yeah. I mean, you know, this is yet another example of, uh, you know, people that supported Brexit, companies that supported Brexit and um, the people running them. Uh, some of them funded Brexit and all the Conservative Party that implemented it and, and then finding that it's negatively affecting their business. And of course, we've seen this in, in all sectors of the economy. We've seen companies involved with fishing, manufacturing, agriculture and farming, um, exports, um, you know, uh, that have um, been sold the lies uh, and believed the lies, voted for leave, thought it would be better for the country, uh, our economy, etc. despite all the actual evidence. Um, and uh, and and now their in their businesses and their industries are, are suffering, um, either through lack of workforce, lack of ability to export their product, lack of ability to import tariff free the components to make their products, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, so many um, businesses are suffering, going under, um, and we've yet you know we've yet to really see the the uh, the long any long term impact from from Brexit, but. Um, you know, uh, so Warburton's is a, is a uh, yet another example, and people say, "Oh, you, you know, you're doing just doing cancel culture here." This isn't about cancel culture, actually. This is about us as consumers being free to make choices based on our, you know, our ethics, our morals, our beliefs. And if a company is willing to support a, a lying, murderous, racist government, bunch of psychopaths, uh, if a company is going to pump money into that sort of regime to rule over us. I'm not, I as a consumer are perfectly within my rights to, to withdraw my custom and not give them my money. So it's not about cancel culture. It's just about, you know, uh, each of us as individuals making choices where we, where we purchase, who we purchase from. I certainly not going to be purchasing 
Warburton's products in the future. Like I say, it's not cancel culture, it's just about our choice. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's that's enough that needs to be said.